Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this like no makeup makeup look. Basically it's kind of for when you're in a rush and either you love putting on makeup, you feel like a little bit more confident in makeup or whatever, it's just kind of how I naturally enhance my already there face. Having a little chill, get ready with me. Let's get started. Can I take my hair out? I'm just gonna brush it. Could be a good plan because it's um, very knotty right now, so. Okay, <sighs> grab a cheeky hairband. This is actually mine from when I was probably like five, but like low key, I love this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with this. This is the Prime and Ready by Collection. It's basically like a, what are they called? Um, Glycerin? No, what's it called? Damn it. It's gonna be so annoying when I edit it. Like a something based primer. Glucose? <laughs> no. I'm basically putting this kind of around my nose and by my cheek area because that is where I tend to get the biggest pores. Um, my skin's actually okay at the moment, although in camera it looks very red, but it's okay because it's no makeup makeup, right? Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. Um, I have a few like natural freckles on my nose, so I don't really wanna cover them up, but I'm just gonna go under my eyes pretty much and that's it. So, well, we'll see. So I have two concealers. These are like the same one but my favourite. Um, this is an instant anti-age eraser eye. I have one in neutralise and one in nude. So neutralise is a little bit lighter and nude is better for a tan. So I don't want it to be too highlighting though so I'm just going to mix a little bit of two. If I can open them with my oily hands now. Quickly on my nose I have a little like spot like black. I don't even know what it is. It's like kind of dry skin but also like it's not cute. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to cover that up. The tip is you've got to just be super, super, I don't know, <laughs> gentle with your application. Not as in like, but as in don't put too much basically. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter one and I'm just going to put this right under my eyes, just directly on the bag. And I'm just blending this out with a setting brush from my technique. But yeah, because obviously I've been having exams, I'm kind of used to not really wearing makeup because um, I don't really wear it for exams or if anything, I'll just shove a tiny bit of concealer. Can you see how brightened it looks already? So I'm kind of used to like not having very much time to check on makeup. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the darker shade on top just because on camera it looks really, 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 really bright. The thing is my cheeks don't have significant blemishes. They are just covered in little bumps, which is amazing. <laughs> we won't fret too much over it though because it's life, you know. Why am I rubbing my chin? I have nothing on my chin. That's it. That's kind of the amount of like covering I like, but you can kind of see the glow still on my cheeks, which is good. You want to look healthy. So I'm going to do a slight bit of contouring. Normally, if I was on a time crunch, I probably wouldn't do contouring, but I know some people cannot leave it out. So this is a little precision contour stick from Collection. Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap this. If you can see, this is more natural and this is more like... Taupe. I think I'd rather actually just bronze a little bit more. But some people just kind of want to look a little bit more bronze. Because again, it makes you look a little bit more healthy. Again, it looks a lot more dark on camera. Honestly, in person, you can't really see that. But on camera, I like it. <laughs> Obviously, if you don't have time or you don't want to wear makeup, just don't wear it. It's completely your choice. Moving on, I'm going to put on a little bit of highlighter. Now, I'm going for more cream products for my face just because it makes it look more dewy, more natural, and less thick and cakey. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick by Face Studio. And I'm just putting this on my cupid's bow, down my nose, a little bit on my forehead, just slightly up my cheekbones. Just slightly. <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed I use this brush for contouring because this is my concealer brush usually. And I'm um, kind of ruined that for myself, so. I don't think I'm gonna use any powder. One, because I haven't just haven't found the powder that I love at the moment. And also, I just love kind of having like a gluey, gluey, <laughs> glowy looking face. I just feel like you look more. <laughs> You know, just healthy. I'm just gonna quickly pop on some lip balm. This is a peach one, it kind of looks a bit. <laughs> it's by Tony Moly and it is called a Mini Peach and it smells absolutely delissimo. To be honest, I will probably just leave my lips glossy. Leaps? <laughs> Did I see leaps? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them like that anyway. Right, the next thing is slightly controversial, okay? This step is a little bit more controversial. If you have freckles, leave them. They are beautiful and I'm extremely jealous. If you only have like three, like me, and you just covered them up, then um, draw them on. Why not? Who cares? Forget the haters. <laughs> 
Okay, so you can either do this with a brow pencil or with a pomade and a very light hand. So I'm gonna try out with a pencil. Basically, I have a few small freckles that you can't really see from afar. So I'm gonna replicate that and just kind of do them just around my nose area because I think it makes it look a lot more like healthy and I just love the look of freckles. Honestly, if I'm in a time crunch, I sometimes do them anyway as like my only piece of makeup. But I don't do freckles the whole time, only when I just, you know, feel like it. Although I did go out on the sun yesterday and either I can actually notice I've got a lot more freckles so that is exciting how many more times can I say freckles like freckles freckles so that's about enough you guys probably can't even tell the difference but I can from those three that I've literally drawn on um my camera's flashing at me I don't know why though for eyebrows, I sometimes just put in a little bit of brow gel and be done, but I think today I'm going to put in a teeny, teeny bit of brow powder. Jokes! <laughs> I forgot I put my brow powder in the bin because it was a bit rubbish. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little bit of this brow pomade. This is the Ardell one in blonde and honestly use a tiny bit. Oh, <gasps> I've hit pan on it. No! It's like seven pounds. <laughs> I don't want to buy a new one. <laughs> um, okay. Just the tail of my brows are quite sparse. I don't like these looking too neat either so I don't do like a line on them I just kind of fill them in a little bit so they look a little bit more just like that that is it no shape nothing and then I'm just going to use a clear brow gel and brush them up basically this one is not good it's called brow coat and I loved it at first but it's so weird it like separates and like has clumps where my like eyebrow products just come into it not worth seven pounds that I paid for crazy thick eyebrows yeah some people like them some people don't i love them just for eyelashes i'm just gonna curl them because i'm quite lucky to have slightly longer lashes but they are very straight um so this is like leftover cut from yesterday so i'm just gonna curl them again pumping the lash curler there we go you can easily add brown mascara black mascara clear clear, clear mascara whatever you fancy and that is the look that's the finished makeup do i look any different from the start no but do i feel better yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing that and seeing how i got this more kind of like natural look that i've been wearing every day pretty much probably will for summer to be honest check out my vlog channel if you want to you know see that um so yeah i will see you guys super super soon with another video bye guys uh. <laughs>